Hi, this is Alex, and I'm Ellen. Last year, Alex decided to buy a boat and begin his dream of sailing around the world. As a 17-year-old Aussie who knew nothing about sailing, I dropped it all to come join him. Follow us through the hardships and the joy as we try to discover all the beautiful hidden places this world has to offer. We got a decent amount of requests for a boat tour, so here it is! But in all seriousness, we really, really wanted to apologize for not posting in such a long time. We sort of had our reasons, we sort of didn't, so yeah, really sorry about that. But before we go on to the real boat tour, I just wanted to show you a sketch of the design of Alley scene that I made. It's not completely correct, but um, it shows you just the general idea. Hello! and welcome on board Alusim. So let's start. So once you come in, on the right side you have the kitchen. There's not so much to say about the kitchen. We have two sinks, a bin over here, an oven, two stoves, or three stoves, and then this is where we store the, the mugs, cups, and then the plates and the bowls over here. This over here doesn't look so good um, because during the knockdown it broke and we still haven't fixed it. And this actually works, surprisingly. We haven't had an issue with it yet, but we will fix it. And then over here we have the pantry. So we have our fridge, which is an open from the top fridge. Here we store things like pasta and rice in these boxes over there. Um, over here we store our pans, our pots, here we have bread, cereal, this is where we store like chips or extra pasta or, and there we have sort of our cookies section. Now sweets. Okay, so now that we're done with the pantry and the kitchen, here we have the main room. So here we store cutlery. It's kind of in a boat you got to be smart with where you have storage. And over here we have glasses. What well, we don't use. That, yeah, we don't really use. We we'll just bring drink out of the bottle. Over here, there is an opening to wine and things that we haven't touched at all. You know, one day. The table is the type that goes up and down. So I'm waiting single people. Then over on this side and on the other side is also the same. We have storage under here. So we have lots of cans, canned food for long term sailing or just in general. We also bought these boxes because at the beginning we were storing things on top and it didn't look very organized. We have two bags where we put our electronics. Um, and yeah, we take them out. Over here we store all the flags. Yeah. In here, I don't know, it's very specific. We have our beanies and our winter clothes. And in here we have fishing and some snorkel equipment. It's all got its own spot. Okay. On the other side, we store several sail bags. We have our storm jib, our fuck, um, and I don't remember this one. Sweden sail. Sweden sail. The 20% smaller main sail with three reefs. Right. Yep. And then, equally, we store fishing equipment or wetsuits in the ones at the back that we don't need too much. And in here, again. Just a lot of canned food. 
We kind of filled with pan food, but you probably know that from the first the second episode. Oh, we also have storage underneath. We store here things like flour or more cereal. Mainly storing food. Okay, now behind here, we have our stove or heater. Alex installed it himself. He did the whole installation. We got it pretty cheap in the Netherlands. <laughs> it's not the prettiest stove, but it works works well. We've used it a decent amount of times in Brest and in the Netherlands. We have a map of the world because I wanted it. <laughs> and I also put pictures of all my life up on the wall. Alex didn't have any, but once he does, we'll have even more pictures. Okay, now once we go even more in, we have on this side more storage, generally more like bath, bath things, like shampoo and we also have medicine in here and our first aid kit. Yeah, and then if you come in even more, and you have here the bathroom. Pretty small, but it um it's got anything you need. You have a toilet, sink, yeah. It's <laughs> pretty so, much it. It's surprising how good it is to have a really small bathroom because when you're actually sailing. You want to be able to sort of like stabilize yourself. As I would know from the knockdown. Um, the further you come in, we have our front room, which we've been using as storage for a long time. We have um, more sails on this side and our spear guns. Well, your spear guns. <laughs> I guess them too. And on this side, we have still the solar panel that we'll have to put up at some point and some more things that we'll find a place for. Also over here, the storage under the bed. Okay. Now, as we come back out, on the left side of where you come in, we have... It's enough station. Um, we installed this one after we lost or the previous monitor got seawater. And it works pretty well. Um, here we have all the, the lights and the computer, all the switches, the switchboard. You have your radio here and we've got one up there as well. That one's for... Yeah, so that one down there is a shortwave amateur radio and this one up there is a normal VHF uh, marine radio. Yeah, so it's a little bit messy still. Um, we have an open part here that we don't know what to do with, but we'll figure that out. Here we store random things. And then here we have cables. Um, Headphones. Yeah. All, all the that. stuff, what do you need there for charging devices and stuff like this. Yeah. We have a printer, printer that we don't use too often, but we do use it. Underneath here we store things like C charts, books. And under there we also have more storage. Okay, we also have a small monitor that we use when we're sailing to track where we are. Um, it doesn't use a lot of power, so it's almost always on when we're sailing. Yeah, it's pretty cute. And the better we monitor. Yeah. Okay, the chair then goes up. For when we are not needing it. So we also have our EPUB here and the computer is in this. We go into the last section of the boat which is the back. Just before we get there there's this little work station. We have cupboards here. We have a What's this called again? 
don't know the English word. Okay, but it's for working. Um, yeah, it's a cute little spot. And here we have more storage. We have paint and yeah. other stuff that I have no idea what it's for. We also have an autopilot inside controller over here. Um, but we mainly just use the outside. And then as you move on, here we have all our clothes in these cupboards. And this is where you get to see the engine room. Mm. It's all dark right now, but... You got no. the engine. Impossible. The diesel. It's all there. And this is where Alex worked a lot to get all the electronic electric that's our autopilot yeah here are the charge controllers for the solar panels yeah this is where we turn on like the autopilot it's this one or the wind generator yeah okay and now Welcome to the last room, our bedroom. It's a little bit of a mess, but uh, yeah. So in our room we have an extra hatch to the back up here that we can open and close. It's really nice for fresh air. Yeah, we have toys. Might seem a little embarrassing, but you'd be surprised how during a sale when there's a lot of waves and wind, how nice it is to just hug something when it's your turn to sleep. So yeah, this is um, Wobby the seal, our main hugging partner. Um, yeah, these are our big dunas that we use during the winter, but it's the summer now, so we just have a light, light sheet. And yeah, that's about it. Let us know in the comments if you want to see a tour of the outside of Alusane. And thank you for watching!